Chale. 1926 to 2022 Shit. is not a joke. Malizi has witnessed every World Cup that has been played. Every single one. Chale. Chale. See, she saw, she saw, uh, what, Winston Churchill, she saw, uh, Everybody, oh, everybody, boys. Adolf Hitler, saw, Ronald Reagan, world, uh, Jimmy Carter, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Well, who will be our? She has been there, done that, seen it all. So, Charlie. Malizi, oh, Malizi. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie Malizi say we don't go play ball this weekend, though. It's like, that's how powerful she is, though. Me season my ball weekend, we. Me need also me season my ball. Yeah, so that's the, that's the word up. Just this week, um, like I said, the Bet Power Ghana Premier League kicks off this weekend. Interesting games coming up on game week one. Ghana squad out for the two friendlies against Brazil and Nicaragua. Brazil also have dropped their squad. <laughs> but of course, this week belongs to the one and only Toto Alote. Oh, Charlie. Tommy Tactics. All kinds of conspiracy theories are flying about on why and how he was fired. People say your man was sleeping at night and he was, they woke him up with a call. Somebody says they handed him the letter after. They say he was fired on the phone and he was begging. Charlie, all kinds of things. But Graham Potter, though, has gone from Black Queen's technical advisor to Chelsea head coach. You can't write this story. Trust me. We saw the potential yeah. first. Oh, Charlie, you know, the vision. But the all of this cannot happen if the rabbi doesn't <laughs> commit it into the hands of the Almighty. Rabbi. <laughs> rabbi. Hey, Mambi. Beleche. Beleche. How you always say Hey, Mambi. Hey, Mambi. Hey, you always say that. Okay, when it's why, hey. The rabbi has set the tone. The tone. Let me just take snap thoughts on the launch of the, the, the Ghana Premier League essentially starts this weekend. I'll go through the fixture list, but let me start with you, Daniel. Um, league starts this weekend. Hearts of Folk take on Adriana in what should not be a very nice game week one. I mean, why, why would you do that to Hearts of Folk, you know? Game week one against Adriana. There's uh, Bechem, I think, with Great Olympics. Um, a few really tasty games, but your expectations, I mean... 
Sikaba league ni mu. Like every one minute be a sponsorship ni mu. Into Charlie, what what are you expecting for this campaign? Um, look. Uh, first of all, why would the league do that to Adrian Stars? No. Hey. <laughs> Doma hasn't been a good hunting ground for that. But um, look, it's a new season, and I think the best the best time to face a, 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 a tough team or a traditionally tough team for you is in the opening weeks of the season when um, teams haven't yet settled. It's better to go there now than later in the season when the Indiana Stars have, have settled in their business. But look, it's a very exciting league. Um, for the first time in a couple of years, we have a sponsor for the Ghana Premier League, Bet Power Ghana Premier League. Um, so look, it's really interesting. I'm looking at the new boys and a team like in Swatraman going to um, the Baba Yara on the opening day. It should be very interesting for them. Um, they've waited a very long time to come to the Premier League. And uh, there's no better place to start than at the home of the champions. Um, you look at Kotoku Royals against the uh, Makra Lions. Makra Lions were there um, during last season's campaign. It looks like a game that will... If you go two seasons ago, this would have uh, been a, a, a Division One league game. Uh, two of them back in the Division One. But look, it's, it's, it's really interesting. I'm happy we've waited a long time. And the good thing about this is that whilst we were waiting, we had the Black Galaxies also... Um, the team that reps the Ghana Premier League and, and local football go out there and, and, and do their business and qualify for the chance for the first time since 2015. So there's been some buzz during the off-season. Um, the transfer window was very interesting. Transfer deadline was very interesting. So look, the, the league returns. It returns with a new face and lots of sponsorship. Uh, there's money that has been pumped in. So look, we are excited. Let's just hope that this buzz continues. And um, as the GFA does their part, we also do our part. And uh, we hope that we have a successful league. But for Hard to Folk, um, I'm really excited. As I'm going to say it again. Look, it's, it's better to go to Doman now mm -hmm. than to go in. <laughs> <laughs> in you are league. admitting that the place is a hot zone. Oh, it's a hot zone. Yes. It is a hot when, zone. When they light the, 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 the pot behind your, your bench like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a hot zone. So. You and said it, we'll do our part. Uh, no, one million. 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 And we need to tell them. The marketing, the publicity, the publicity. No, hold on, coach, hold on. You see, I, I say that we want to, we don't want to jump the gun. Yo. We want to see the, the promotion strategy, the marketing maybe, strategy. Maybe I launch it, maybe I'm on. No, no, this is the time to promote. I don't know more But you see, we won't, we won't like I'm saying, Yo. we won't jump the gun. Yo, we'll bro. wait for them. To, to, to get into their stride. Yeah, and then know. and then we will come back here. You know that here we will evaluate. Sure. Look, we will see it. And, and when and when down. they do it and they do well to we'll give them big sure, no more. Yes, yeah, now so, as for as for that one, yeah. So let me just quickly go through the fixtures for uh this game weekend. Um so yes, you have um interesting games. Great Olympics Bechem United. That game uh is Olympics playing at home. Real Tamale United take on Samatex. Um Samatex are the new boys. They say that Charlie, they've done everything possible. To stay in the league, they've motivated everybody who needs to be motivated. So is soon. Karela will be up against Tamale City. BBN Gold Stars take on Dreams FC. Uh, they are newly promoted as well. There's Adriana Stars versus Hearts of Folk. Uh, Kotoku Royals take on Accra Lions. Legon City take on Mediama Sporting Club. Brekum Chelsea are up against Kim Faisal. And so that's your uh, game week one for the Ghana Premier League. That's how uh, things are looking for the Ghana Premier League. You can send in your thoughts via text, WhatsApp. And Telegram, uh, 0549-986-996, 0549-986-996. I'll read out your thoughts here on the show. Uh, let me know what you think ahead of the new season. Who wins the Ghana Premier League this season? As I'm taking a talk about defending champions, <laughs> let me just take snap thoughts on the league from Nathan and then I'll move on to some national team stuff. Quick thoughts on um, your expectations for the bet power Ghana Premier League this season. I, I hope, I, first of all, I'm happy there's a headline sponsor. It's great. It's wonderful. The league will get some color. Star times are still around, so we should expect good coverage. I'm sure that um, whatever it is they need to sort out in terms of TV stations that can carry the games, those things um, have been done. Um, I'm only concerned about something I'm, I'm seeing on, on social media. Yeah. And um, um, our, our very good friend, uh, Muftar Nabila, um, has tweeted something. Concerning the, the Mara, mm -hmm. right? The official partner of the Ghana Black. I have to confirm, but he's alleging that the Bank of Ghana says Mara has not been licensed to do any business in Ghana. 
and that they should not be advertising their services. I'm just I just want to ask a simple question. The people at the GFA, have you done your your checks? I don't know, Mara. I'm yet to find we, out. We've more. had this situation before. Yes, we don't want anybody who will show up months down the line, then there's a big problem. Please. The people at the GFA are very good friends. If just do your checks. If your checks are fine, that is okay. If you haven't done the checks, please be sure of what you are doing. Because the last thing you want is to have somebody whose legitimacy you cannot confirm. And then you get yourself into all kinds of problems. But apart from that, I'm happy the league is back. It's great. I'm sure we'll all make time to go see the games and all of that. It's wonderful having the Ghana Premier League back. And I just pray that we'll see a lot. The other concern I have is the promotion and marketing. I thought the FA said they were dedicating a million dollars. Mm-hmm. The, the promotion, I've not seen any promotion. So no. is it that the million dollars will kick in a little later? I don't know. Because somebody was asking me, ah, is it true that the league is starting this weekend? I said, yes. And I said, ah, really? Mm-hmm. So, you haven't seen yeah, anything? I don't, the buzz was not too strong. Yeah. So I think the FA should and can do better and should do better for themselves, for the clubs, and for the sponsors. You owe the sponsors that. You owe the sponsors the proper environment so their product will be seen. That is why they joined forces with you. you are, you've taken their money. Give them what they deserve. So I hope that the GFA will provide the mileage, the promo, and let eyes see, let ears hear what the league is about so the sponsors get their money's worth. Okay. Well, let's move on to national team issues. This week or midweek somewhere, the GFA released the squad for Ghana's um, double header uh, in terms of the friendlies to be played this month, September 23 and September 26. First against Brazil, second against Nicaragua. Let me read out the, the squad and then we will um, we'll have the guys just express their thoughts on what they make of who's been uh, drafted in and who's been left out of the squad. So for, for the goalkeeping department, we have three goalkeepers. There's Richard Ofori, Manaf Nuruddin is in here, and then there's also Joseph Wallacott. In defense, Dennis Odoi out there with Tariq Lamte. Uh, Ali Duseidu, uh, he plays his football for Clement Foot. So if you are hearing his name for the first time, that's where he's coming from. Abdul Babaraman uh, is back on loan at Reading. There's Alexander Jiku, plays for Strasbourg. Salisu is in the mix. Daniel Amati, Joseph Edu comes back, still at Celta Vigo. And then there's Stefan Ambrosius. Stefan Ambrosius plays for uh, Kaushra in the, um, I think, the Bundesliga 2. Uh, that's where they will be. And then you have in midfield, there's Thomas Pate. Um, Idrisu Baba, Elisa Owusu, he plays for Ghent. Uh, Kofi Tre is in the mix. Mohamed Kudus, uh, he's been the talk of the week. And then there's Andrea Yu also in the mix. Um, Wingers, you have Kamal Dean, Daniel Efriye, Barnier, uh, Fatal Isahaku, Osman Bukhari, Ransford Yabua, he plays for Hamburg or HSV. And then you have Jordan Ayu and Antoine Semenyo. And then you have Strikers, Inaki Williams, Felix Afinajan, and Benjamin Tete. Um, let me start with you, Coach. Squad uh, is a what? It's a twenty-six man squad, I believe. Um, yes, twenty and um, twenty-nine. Yes, twenty-nine man squad released for um, the double header in friendlies. Any any surprises there for you? Are you reading any meaning into the people who have been called up and those who have been left out, or you think that this is a friendly match and the coaches are within their rights to call up who they want and leave out who they want? Um, be it a friendly or not. It is within their right because at the end of the day, they will decide who wears the jersey on behalf of the Black Stars. But look, I think on form, we are not being fair to certain players. To be very honest with you, I don't understand why Joseph Benson is not in this list. Is there a, a Ghanaian forward currently in Europe mm -hmm. that is on better form than Joseph Benson? Maybe Osman Bukhari, but he's in the squad. He's in the squad. So apart from Osman Bukhari, why is Joseph Benson not in okay, the squad? Okay, so the, 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 hold on a second, coach. The, the post Nathan read about um, Mara not being licensed <coughs> apparently has been verified by the person who put out the post. And so he says the Bank of Ghana, he's reliably informed uh -huh. by the Bank of Ghana uh -huh. that Mara is not, um, new, new sponsor of the FA have not been licensed to do any business in Ghana and should not be advertising their services. So uh -huh. that's the that's the confirmation we have there. So it's not hearsay anymore. It's, just, well, yes, it's confirmed, yeah, yeah. It's confirmed yes, from, uh, the, from the, from that, the from That's the what I'm saying. I just they didn't want to. Yeah. Uh -huh. exactly. So I was just airing on... on, on yeah, so... Like I was saying, is it on form? 
We are not. No more. What cup I try? This is not the time to be experimenting. At this current moment, we should be perfecting what we intend or what we'll be doing in November. L let me just ask you a quick question before mm -hmm. you make too much progress. In, in the case of Joseph Pinto, who you are you are saying is on form, and, that, and that's rightly so. Seven games, I think six starts, um, three goals, one assist. Mm -hmm. He's not necessarily shown that same form when we've invited him to the national team. Could that not be the thinking of Otoado in ah, not calling him up? Then players like Benjamin Tete and Fata, Fata, Fata what did you mean? Isayaku Fata. I never said I me. What form have they shown? You know, let's be honest with ourselves. What form? Mm. The players are... What, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking? saying. Is, is he not picking players that he thinks will fit his system? Look, there is absolutely no way Granting Isayaku Neti Sporting Lisbon, you are told. What is what, what, how well is he performing there? You see, when you are preparing towards a major tournament, mm. and Otuado, George Boatin, Masao Didi Dramani, and Chris Hutton, they know what I'm saying. When you're going for a major tournament, you take players who are on form. It is those players you take to a major tournament. Not players who are warming benches. When we went to the World Cup in 2006, <coughs> in 2010, I always refer to the 2010 one because that was the one that actually showed Ghana to the world. Yeah. You see, we used 2006 to just prompt everybody that there was a country called, there's a country called Ghana. And then in 2010, we made the whole world had a clear view of the black stars of Ghana. Olele was not sitting on the bench. John Pencil was not on the bench. Sape was not on the bench. Vosa eh, 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 was not on the bench. John Mensa was not a bench warmer. And Tonanai was not a bench woman. Kevin Prince bought in a Dumajala in Portmouth. Although they went to they went to relegation, but he was very, very one of Portsmouth's best players. Kodra Samoa, a Dumajala Baby Jet, a Dumajala Andre Dede Morgan, are you a Dumajala Prince Tego. First level range of goals. Hoffman, in those days. Prince of goals, yeah. bicycle kicks. Mokajawani. Yakwe, yeah, go and listen, go and go, go back and refer. We had a Champions League winner sitting on the bench of the Black Stars in Sule Aliu Muntari in 2010. So, you see, when there is a clear empirical evidence mm -hmm. to help you do the right thing, you don't do, you, you see, you do, you, you should be very honest and sincere. Why is Jesse not in this? That boy, is he's not going to play for Ghana, eh? Well, he doesn't appear to be on the radar of the national team handler. Why? I don't know. Why? I, I have no idea about that. This boy is playing week in, week out in the Italian Serie A. Ah, why? And we've not heard anywhere that he said he will not play for the national team again. Has he said anything of the sort? He hasn't said anything like that. No more, I can bet my last best one. JC will do 20 times better than Benjamin Tate. I'm telling you honestly. JC will, will give this team better options than Benjamin Tate. But whether we come and sit here and shout and say the things we want to say, what they say they will do, that is what they are doing. You see, and in life, if you don't do the right thing, you are just setting yourself up for failure. You have seen the Brazilian team, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can you think of any bri top Brazilian player who is not in their team? They've left out all the Arsenal boys. They've left out Martinelli, Jesus, and Magales. Ma Ma yes. Martinelli and Gabriel were not really regulars. Is Jesus, not, who's well, a bit that is it. It is the Jesus exclusion that is a bit somewhere. But look, me, I see it here today. I know Jesus who will go to the World Cup. He will go. Well, maybe Tete is that the name of yeah, the Brazilian? Tete, he he's going to look at maybe. But can you think?
think about that? Can you think about that? Hmm. We look at this team and we are so weak in midfield. No more party look at Saka was fasting. I'm telling you honestly. You mean fasting and Daniel prayers? Daniel will have to fast and pray that Thomas Pate stays fit. Walk out fit. Hmm. Ah, if I am an if I am Otuado, I won't call Pate for this game. <clears throat> he doesn't need to prove anything to anybody. Rather, new per his in injury team. record, you should rather keep him out and let him heal. We are told that all things being equal, he will just one week after his return, then we are going to... Have you seen Brazil playing a friendly game before? Do you know what it takes to, to get a friendly game against Brazil? Do you know what goes into that? That's why Brazil, when they are playing friendly game, they bring all their best players. Look at that midfield. Look at our midfield. When we went to 2006... That was our strongest department. In 2010, that was our strongest department. In 2014, that was our strongest department. Compare that to the current midfielders that has been called up into this team. No more. It was Simba Nepal. I'm telling you honestly. If Pate cannot stay fit, if you look at that midfield, my only, the only green light is Kuduzo. He's, he's now started playing. This week, he, he did fantastically well. Elisha Wusu, who is a player I love. But of late, his playing time is not straightforward like that. Mm-hmm. You know, about 10 minutes, get, 3 minutes, get it be. He got an ankle injury. He got an ankle injury. Accepted. But going forward, he will have to quickly come back to form. Because we need him in the team. Now I saw now Dede Ayo is a midfielder, eh? Versatile Dede. Oh no. Wherever they need see, him to they shouldn't himself. do these things. You don't get these things anywhere. Apart well, I mean, I, I I I don't read too much meaning into yeah, the categorization okay. you when see, he scores are, are um, t- do you know why these things are the next go and see another list. Dede is a striker. Go and see another list. Dede is a defender. Go and see another. You don't do things like that. Men are few about about any. You don't do things like that. It's like you want to put in the, to make way for somebody who doesn't deserve to be in the team. That is why they do these things. You mean massaging and... That is why they're doing these things. Oh. And we should stop. You see, the Black Stars is not a charity ground. No. The Black Stars is, is the pinnacle. No more. It's the best of the best. That is what we should be showing. Look, you look at this team. And believe you me, me, I am worried. I'm skeptical about this. Just, just because of Penso and Jesse's no. actions? Look at Penso, Jesse should be given opportunity to be in this team. Two, if you go and look at our midfield, do you see that as a very strong midfield? Let me go back to the midfield again, and then I'll read it out to you. I, I, I'll let listeners judge. Yeah, show Usu and yeah, Baba yeah, and Jesus Pate and then Daniel Kofitre. Yeah, no, it's decent. A, no, it's not. There's nothing decent about it. <laughs> the only decent person is Toma Pate, who you see, who will put fear in Ruben Neves and Bruno Fernandez and Co. So what is what is the solution? You understand? The solution is the solution is very simple. The solution is this. If somebody from a certain family has said, man, I won't play for the Black Stars again, no. we will not let it go like that. Isn't it? Isn't it? Well, I don't know about that. I no, but there, that. there are empirical evidence. We can always refer. We can always refer. Look, we've had players retire from the national team, so and people within the FA, not even here in Ghana, they've taken steps to make sure that that thing is dealt with. Those were proven players in the national team. Coach. Oh, no more. You said those were, were proven players in the national team. 
When Asamaja retired from Blaster, he was not that proven. No, when you eh, Ghana be near Joel and Lady Shani Beke, he was not that proven. Mimale. You mean he had not entrenched? Ah, no, no, Mimale. Yeah, that's the. They took the president of the land to go to the blasters. Come here, when I was born. Now me crowd him at time I did me. Book suggestion. Look at the park. No, so no problem. No my end. He had been to the world. Ah, he had. If he had gone to the world, he had not proven himself. He had been to the world. Cup. In no, the, in the black stars, he was no taboo name. You see, <laughs> okay. You can choose to massage whatever you want to massage. Well, it's not massaging. But what I wait is, mm -hmm. I'm happy we are going to play against Brazil. Yeah. They they are not coming to joke. When the the whistle blows for that friendly game, we we'll all be watching. Mm -hmm. Me, I want the Black Stars to be competitive. I want them to compete. But I say in that midfield. Yeah. If, there were, if we had certain players in that midfield, or certain players from certain families said they won't play for Ghana again, the FA president, the sports minister, all those who matters, they'll be talking to make sure that that decision is rescinded. But as it says, let's allow it to go. We are hoping for the best. The media, team with you, me, Coach Nimli, no more, and Sherman, Afenijan, Minitwa. Coach, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Is there any good part of this team? We've spoken about the bad. Is there ah. any good part? Of course, there are good players in the team. So there are good parts in the team. So do you like? So which department do you, you see, think puts good? To me, I just, I just want to, to know me, where your mind me, is. The defense look very solid in my view. Mm -hmm. But you see, in the modern game, if your midfield is very weak. Your defenders, no matter how strong they are, they'll be exposed. That's what I'm saying. I that. agree with Look, you on that. Nobody should overlook the performance of Ole in 2006 and 2010. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, you see, no matter how well we perform, I think 40% of how well we perform as a team in those two World Cup came from Ole Out of 100, oh, is the goalkeeper. We all saw the we all saw the games. Mm. Lele. Obawa. Oh, Charlie. Lele. Oh, Lele. Lele. Obawa. Lele. Let me go no, through that. Okay. Let me go through. So you like the, you like the defense, the, the defensive department. Let me go through the Brazil. Defense said, then she left back and then there's a problem there. <laughs> That's a serious problem there. Let me go through the Brazil squad. So goalkeepers, they have Alisson, Edesen, and, um, what's the name? Ve Veverton? Weverton. 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 Oh, interesting name. Danilo, Alexandro, they, and they, Alex they, Telles. They, they, they don't have fullbacks. So, Charlie, these fullbacks, they are you know, poverty you know, fullbacks. You know, you know if Daniel Alves had a club, he'd be in that squad. I'm telling Danilo, you. Danilo, Alexandro, <laughs> and Alex so, Telles. Daniel Alves has been starting in the last few qualifiers for Brazil. They then, don't have fullbacks. Then um, they have um, Brema, Eder Militao, Marquinhos, Ibanez, and Thiago Silva. That's in their defense. Um, in midfield, they have Bruno Guimaraes, they have Casemiro, Fabinho, Fred, Lucas Paqueta, and Everton oh, Vibero. Yeah. And oh, then no, up front, they have Anthony. Oh. They have Roberto Firmino. <laughs> Anthony Firmino, mm. Mateus Cunha, mm. Neymar, Pedro, Rafinha, Richarlison, Vinicius Jr., and Rodrigo. Vinicius, he switched from 11, neighbor at 7. No more. Sanini Nawa, he wobble. So let me let me take your thoughts on the the Ghana squad. Coach has um, complained about the middle of the pack. He's complained about the absence of JC and Joseph Payne. So, what do you like about this team, and what don't you like? No, I I agree with him in terms of the midfield. Even just in terms of numbers, the if we look at the pure central midfielders in that midfield, when I let me just look at the squad again, it's like Party, Baba Jisu, and Elisha. Also, are the pure. We play we play four two three one a lot, and we have only two people who can play in that. Pick. Daniel Kofichu is more of a ten, more than eight. I would not like him in that. Pick. That has been been playing at five. Kofichu don't get any trouble. Eh, eh, try. Eh, try. I'm benching him. I'm he's not. not I'm he's, so not played, he's not played much at Freiburg, but let's not even go into that. Kudus again, he plays closer to the goal. And Jiu, he's even been playing strike for us recently. So I feel like the midfield is a bit light on options to pass. Very, not a bit light. It's very, very so that's, light. That's something I'm, I'm, I, I really have a problem with. 
I'm not too concerned. When I look at the wingers, the wingers aren't bad, in my opinion. Of course. Yes, they are not bad, but That's there's too many of them. Exactly. There's too many of them. We have Very to similar. streamline, and then the strikers as well. We don't need three strikers. Two is enough. Because we have the day you can play in strike. We have Jordan Ayu can play in strike. We have Semenu who can play up front. So we have wingers who can... I didn't Move on with your so, point. I feel like we have too many strikers. So the forwards and the wingers are a bit too many. The midfielders are not enough. So even numerically, it's a problem. I'm not saying I'm not going to suggest names and that kind of stuff. I know the coaches have their ideas of who to play, but just numbers wise, the distribution of players is problematic. You know, I'm okay with the defensive side, even in the numbers, because sometimes we do play three backs. So you do need some extra centre backs in the squad, that kind of stuff. And look, the World Cup now is 26 men. It's no longer a 23 man squad, so there will be some extra places in there. There's some, but I wish there were some. He had called more players who were a bit so on their I'm coming. Let me just say something. That 26, it doesn't mean you should go and take anybody at all. Oh, coach. What? Even if they give us 35, mm-hmm. we should go for the best 35. Available. I know, coach. I, I, I don't disagree, but I'm saying that I also wish that we had caught some more players who were a bit on their fringes. No. In, in the sense that, at least against Nicaragua, mm-hmm. this is a team we are expected to be. You can at least give some people a chance to see what they are about. We know party is going. We know certain people are already going. No, so but there's no reason for them to <laughs> come for the Nicaragua. We could have taken a bigger squad just to get a better idea of some of these players. Because if you look at this squad, truth be told, how many did they call? Was it 28? 29. 29. 29. The truth is about 20 of these people, they are guaranteed to go. That's basically the, the message that's being sent. That maybe at least 20 of you are guaranteed to go. And maybe there's six places up for grabs. So it's not very encouraging if you're one of the people who's not even on the list. In that sense, because mm. you mean if you are not on the list, if you start, no, that you, 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 you start they, they calling just, your no, calling they your they people. Are. Benjamin Tete, if I wake up, mm-hmm. Fatal Isayaku, if I wake up, Babarama, if I wake up, no matter how ineffective they are in their various clubs, we all know why they go to the world. But you see, Babarama, you say you want somebody who is playing no, regularly. Is he playing regular. Daniel, regular. Hold on, He's hold on. playing regularly. I'll come, I'll, come, I'll come to you so you can make... How many I, matches I don't want your strike to be played. How many games has he played? Let, let's relax. Oh. How let's... many games has he played? Maybe how many games has he played? Two or three, is it one or two games? No, coach, you only joined. He, he, joined like, he, just jo- he just joined up so around the finish, deadline. Finish your point. He came your and point. change. He didn't <laughs> start. Change. change. Make your point. Make your point. But the whole, the whole point is, coach is right, the midfield no, is weak numerically. I wouldn't say personnel-wise, but numerically at the very least. And I feel like the way, even the midfielders listed as midfielders, they are square pegs for round holes. Ah. But if you are planning to play a double pivot, and you put Kudus and Party there, you've given Party a lot of work to do defensively. Because Kudus is not that guy. We saw Kudus in the Champions League playing as a false nine. We know where he operates best, closer to goal, just behind the striker, making things happen, connecting with the wingers. If you play him in that double pivot, it doesn't help us. Andre you in the double pivot, it won't help us. Kofi Tre in the double pivot, it won't help us. Unless you are playing like Comoros, a team that's inferior to us and he can do something. But ideally, you don't want him there. So, I don't know why we don't have more defense because the way I see the World Cup we are going to be a team we are not going to be on the front foot a lot so we need players who are solid who off the ball so we need people we know party is going to start but we need someone who can partner him and maybe someone else to come on you don't we need more defensive solidity somebody is trying to get it has gotten the team by force because he has to be there <laughs> Are you down no, with your point? I'm just saying yeah, the so numerical that's, that's thing is just not uh, it's it's just, it's it's problematic. Yeah, it's mm. problematic. Th- Daniel, you, you raised a few objections to some of the points coach made, but even before you even get into those, again, what do you like about this squad? What do you not like? I'm I'm happy with the team. Um, I think I agree with that we are a bit light in midfield, but we are a bit light in midfield. Not because look, the players are available. I feel if there's anybody who would, uh, based on form, should have been in the team, um, would be um, the RC Lons guy, um, Abdul Samir uh, Salis. I think based on form, he's, he's, he's shown that he's ready. But you see, in, even in his position, he's coming to compete with um, Baba Idrisu, who for the Black Stars has shown that he's more than capable of handling that role. And then Elisha Wusu, who in the past... 
and few months has clearly won the trust of the of the head or the coaching staff. Yeah. So it's always a very difficult um, position to break into, and um, basically that is who we have available. Like you can only pick from the pool that you have available. Ashimaru um, is available. Actually, Majid is just returning from injury. He actually just returned from injury. Ah, somebody has returned from injury. They've called him. Oh. He's actually injured and he has still been called. No, but Ashimeru and Pate are not the same. No, we you said they just returned from injury. No, but I'm, I'm, also, I'm also giving context He's making to his it. point. Let him finish. Daniel, make your point. Daniel, go on. Funny enough, I just checked something and um, one of our best players in the 2010 World Cup, Richard Olili Quinson, didn't make a single club appearance before. Walker. You mean coaches only? Lele. Lele. Yeah, he didn't make a. We saw his performance, though. He didn't make it. I'm looking at it. Right no, now. but he's saying that per your analysis, he didn't, he didn't make, make an appearance before appearance. he was so taken he was to the walkout. So he was a bench player. So he was also a bench warmer. Give me more examples. And then he went. <laughs> who else? And that was one of our best players. <laughs> who else? Um, so just saying that sometimes. Let's let's have him make his point without him. Let's make it. Let him make the head point. coaches they know what they're about. Sometimes. Mm. Ah, did Algeria have... not go with Rice in Bali? Which World Cup was it that he was clubless? Yeah, it was twenty fourteen. Yes. No, Algeria came to work on my show. I'm a share coach. I'm a share coach, Ali. Basically, we've we've seen some of these things. Um, look, my point is just and I understand. Look, these things are it's very valid, and we need to question. And I feel like when we question the, the head coaches and the technical staff also need to come out and explain to us some of these criteria. Mm -hmm. Because if not, um, we will form a certain criteria in our head and judge the call-ups based on the, those criteria. And those are the things that lead to displeasure when a exactly. tournament starts and the team is not performing. Exactly. But in my own small mind, I feel like there are a lot of... And when you... When you do comparative analysis and you look at how other national teams also call up and you listen to interviews from other national team head coaches, mm -hmm. you can understand the mind of um, a national team head coach and what goes into, into picking players for, for a job. Um, and for me, the system they are going to play, the balance of the team and trust, these are things that, I think these are the three key things that go into um, selecting a player for a national team. Um, you, you let me finish this now, okay? So, look, sometimes, and if I, I've already said that, look, we, you go for the players who are available. Mm -hmm. um, some names that have come up, and look, this Benjamin Tete thing, I, 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 let me just explain from my point of view, okay? I've seen several national teams going, going for a particular profile of player, and that profile is what Benjamin Tete fits into. For Hull City this season until his uh, injury just last Sunday, he's played a certain role. He's that sort of striker. For um, During his time in Turkey last season, where he was a regular, yeah. he's that sort of striker, that target man who's one sort of striker. And you see, when you're going to a tournament setting, you always need a player like that. It doesn't matter where, whether you play that style of football, but you always plan for that uncertainty. There might be a match where you need somebody like that and you look on your bench and you don't have. So you always need to go, go with that option. Um, to give you an example, during the 2010 World Cup, the one um, Spain ended up winning, yeah. at the end of the 2009, uh, 2010 season, um, Roberto Soldado had scored more goals than uh, Fernando Llorente going into the World Cup in the La Liga. They were both in the La Liga. But the Spanish head coach, Del Bosque, went for um, Llorente instead of... And the explanation was simple. Yes, they play a tiki-taka style of football, but there may be a time in the competition where Spain is chasing the game and they'll have to go route to one. And they'll need that option of, of Fernando yeah. Llorente. And that's why he was chosen in the team. And we've seen several examples like that. In 2006, England also went for Peter Crouch ahead of um, Darren Bent, who had had a splendid season. But that's why I said systems, yeah. trust, balance. Building, the balance is building a team. Mm -hmm. Looking for every uncertainty, planning for every uncertainty. And... Um, I'm sure in that time, Darren, and you've, I, I think you've, you've heard Darren, but he's given an interview on TalkSport where he spoke about how disappointed he was not to make that World Cup squad. Because, look, he was absolutely brilliant that season. But if you look at his profile of players, who was he competing with? Yeah. He was competing with the likes of Rooney, um, Mike Lowen, these um, quick mobile strikers. But when it came to the target man type of striker, mm -hmm. Crouch was in his own league. He wasn't competing with anybody. So, per that plan... Crouch is going ahead of you. It looks like Crouch has been picked ahead of you, but Crouch is going for a specific purpose. Um, so, look, and you will look at 
the sort of, sort of strikers we have available in this country. We don't have anybody like Benjamin Tete. Mm. And you see, let's not... It, it, sometimes I, be, I feel it's a bit unfair. If you watch the, the last, the Caring Cup game, the last one we played against Chile, he yeah. gave a clear example of what his role and what his, his, his uses are. Where... I think he hit the bar a couple of times. He was holding up play for the world. Well, hit the pole doesn't move. Pull the machine or hit bar. Mini bar. No go go hit bar. Let him. Mini bar. That mini hit bar. If you are talking hit bar, I can go hit the bar. Nobody records that. Then you make your point. The case is away. The case does the pole move? It doesn't move. Why are you faking on just that? He spoke on so many things I've said. Hit bar. Okay, say hit bar. He hit a couple of shots against the bar. Sorry, make your point. Make your point. So look, you see, let's not. And look, that's what I'm saying. He's had very limited game time. Yes, he's been selected, but he's had very limited game time. And you can understand, and you see, that even validates the point I'm making. He's not necessarily chosen because of the system the, 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 mm-hmm. the, the team is going to play. He's there in case of the, the need for a yeah, route to, one. To switch style. To of switch play. style. And, and the way things are going, you might have to play route one a exactly, lot. Exactly, a lot. So you need to go with those types of players. I'm done with him. Um, with Fatah Isahaku also, I was doing a lot of thinking. And um, we understand the, the complexities of modern day football. Um, the importance of setting and p- the profile also comes in again. The importance of a setting profile, and you see, Fatai Sahaku may not have had a, a good run with the Black Stars. I agree, he's terribly frustrating to watch, and that is true. Everybody has a right to be frustrated with him when he has the ball. But look, I'm thinking to myself, there's a reason why Liverpool, by Leverkusen, some of the top teams in the world were interested in this boy. They saw what we have seen, and they still wanted him within their ranks. We know how he didn't end up at Liverpool, and it has nothing to do with footballing reasons. We know why he didn't end up at Bayer Leverkusen, and it has nothing to do with football reasons. And now he's at Sporting Lisbon. And with Sporting Lisbon, he's with the first team, and he's making much this squad. You see, if you and if you know how they use European, these top European teams do their business. They don't just put you in their team for putting sick. Do you get me? So there must be a reason why... And not just to... Uh, they registered him for the Champions League. You have 25 places and he was one of the 20. So he should be sitting on the bench and, you and see, come and play. He's... And this you, is and, an and, unproven and see, player. Olele who was proven sat on the bench. There was a problem. This is an unproven player sitting on the bench. He should come and play because he's registered in the Champions League. I you see, nobody said that only oh. sitting on the bench. No, no, Daniel, make Olele your point. Don't, 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 don't base your argument on anyway, make your point. Anyway, so my point is, technical men across board, okay, have seen the quality of this player. It is not just Ghana. It is not just Sporting Lisbon. Scouts have seen him and they wanted the services. Yeah. And just to pick on Susu's point, if you know the complexities with registering teams for Champions League, you don't just give a spot to just anybody. And he occupies the foreign spot because he doesn't, he's not a legend, he's not one of those homegrown players. He may be young, but he's not spent the last three years in Portugal. So he's occupying a foreign spot yeah. in their Champions League team. So for you to That's plan, actually a big concession. That's, a, that's a, exactly. Yeah. Things for you don't to, typically do. Thank teams you. actually leave out very big names from their Champions yeah, League. Joseph Benzi will go here. So for you, can he be? for you to be oh, nah. selected as part of that, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. run, it, it shows you that. The technical people, the, the guys, are, they see something in this boy. And just, just for me to make my point, I was looking at the profile of wingers we have in this team. We don't have a single right-footed winger, left-footed, left-footed right winger in this Ghana team, this setup. We don't. And you see, for somebody who is already one day under 20 best player, he's the best youth player on the continent. And that is huge. And we always talk about progressing our players Thank to the you. national team. You have to understand why... First of all, this is a profile of player that is not common in the world. My United just went to spend 100 million euros oh, don't on go there. Anthony. Don't it go is facts. There. Don't go there. Don't even My think United about it. So, 100 million uh, uh, Anthony yeah, okay. Fatal. I'm not comparing Anthony and so Fatal. I'm saying profile. my United no, saw right, right, the right, need to buy right a right-footed winger. A left-footed right winger who has end product to his game. You know, you all. 
Yes, I you you have just said that coach is Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a simple. Let me ask you a simple question. You don't agree that we cannot go to a World Cup with all right-footed wingers? Ah, let me let's get this straight though. You have every team in the world having left-footed wingers, right-footed wingers. No, but that, that's a question. So, a question. so what? I'm, it is not about left foot or right foot. It's about the end product. It's about the end product. But you, you can be a left-footed right winger. Okay, zero cost ninety. Mm. Let, Daniel, Daniel, let, let Daniel wrap up his point. So you see, I I I understand why players of his kind are in, are in, they are in high demand, and I'm saying it again. We might. He might be very frustrating to watch. That is the point. But the fact that technical men across board mm -hmm. see the quality in him and see the potential in him, let's relax. Because look, it's a and look another thing when you speak to people around the Black Stars. Another reason why they absolutely love Fatah Isahaku is his temperament and his mentality. He look, pressure doesn't get to him. He will try a forty-yard shot. Everybody insults him in the on the to be, pitch. To be he honest, again. to be honest, if temperament got to him, he would have cowered by now. Exactly. Because we've actually come see, for him in almost all the games. For a young player we saw, to have that set, oh, okay. let let him finish. Let, let him finish. You are breaking his. You are breaking his. You are also talking. Let him. But he's the host. He's the host. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Thank you. I beg you. You finish. Uh huh. So you see, with 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 that, I'm I'm that that's where I see I see the the sense in going for a player like that. Now. When we say we want a certain criteria of players, you say you want players who are playing regularly. This matter, we stop saying it all. No, no, you see, relax. You say you want players who are playing regularly. But when you look at the squad, we don't target those who are not playing regularly first. The names you are mentioning are guys who have a track record of playing regularly. Every time since last season, that the Black Star squad came and Baba Raman's name was mentioned. Why is he? Baba Raman played almost every game for Reading last season. But that is a problem because he's Baba Raman. But you see, when you watch him, you see, when you watch Baba Raman in the Black Stars, and I always say this, play, look, football, eh, and even coach has given this example before, the instruction given to a player may not be pleasing to the eye of the fan, but the player is doing exactly what the coach wants. Okay, Baba Raman does the job. He's not your flashy left back. He will not be bumping up and down the, the touch line and swinging crosses here and there. He used to be flashy though. He used to be. Yeah. He used to be. But to be fair to him, he's modified his game. And he's look, he's getting the job done. That is why he will be playing regularly week in, week out in Europe. You talk about Jordan Ayew. At Reading. Same thing for Jordan Ayew. And the English Championship, uh, the UEFA coefficient rankings... It ranks higher than some of the leagues that we are mentioning over here. Most of them. Not, not higher than the Italian Serie A. Most of, it doesn't ha rank higher than the Italian Serie mm. A. Yes, it doesn't. But most of the leagues that we have some of our black stars playing. So it's high up there. When you watch Jordan and you, the same thing. Benjamin Tete, the same thing. So why is it that when these guys are named in the black stars, we have a problem with it? And you see, don't, don't talk about contribution. Because there are some other players in there. And let me tell you the truth. With this party thing, and you guys are saying party is an Ottoman. When was the last time party had a very good game for the Black Stars? Against Nigeria, so we qualified to the World Cup. Look, he was absent in the first leg. He was absent the entire Afcon. The second leg, half time. In fact, first half, he was very good. Half time, he was wavering. With a player of that quality, you can understand why the coaches want to. Look, first of all, we are not doctors. <laughs> Second of all, if Otuado has named him in the team. Yeah. Even though we know he's, a, he's an automatic, he will go if he's fit. We need to get the best out of him. And he's somebody that you need to spend as much time as possible, try as much partnerships as possible to get the best out of him. He's not, oh, he will go, so let him sit this one out. No, yeah. because Pate himself, for the Black Stars, is not giving the sort of performances he does as club level. I didn't say so he that, should sit this one out. No, I'm, 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 no I'm, 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 not, I'm not referring to what you said. Mm. Susu made that point. I'm saying that, look, it's, it's very important. That sort of player, once we can get the best... Imagine we have Pate playing the sort of football he plays for us now for the Black Stars. It solves almost everything we have in the middle of the pitch. And that is fact. All of a sudden, the, we don't have quality in midfield. We'll be, it, it, will, it will be solved. And that is a fact. So, look, let's understand why he's being brought in. Fine. 
his injury, his fitness situation is not the best out there. But if Kante is fit, France is calling him. They don't care if his injury situation is whatever. Have to take Paul Pogba Look, to the World Cup. They to take Paul Pogba the way, the way until he did the, 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 surgery. the surgery. But you see, so, sometimes we need to understand these things. There's not a lot of time to the World Cup. It's not now you are coming to, oh, this person is on form. Because even the, the Joseph Pencil we are talking about. You see, let's be honest. Sometimes when we make noise for players and they are given the opportunities and they don't do well, we need to call them out for it. He played 63 minutes against Central African Republic. Did not complete a I single give you several examples. No, it's Jordan. No, you exactly. Do well. no, you see, he's been no. called every now and then. No. And so he's a player exactly. playing one match. Exactly. And he does, we saw Joseph Pencil at the AFCO. Didn't he do well? Didn't he do well there? Didn't he do well there? He had one good game. Ah. How many games did he play? He had one good game. How many games did he play? He had one good game. That was the only game that he started. in the Morocco mm-hmm. game? That was the only game. The other games, he came on when we were struggling as a team. I can give and you several examples and that was of Jordan and you, of Baba Raman, of people who have not done well in the Black Stars. That was Every really one that they are called. Is I give you an opportunity that you've mentioned. You don't do He's well. never done well. He's always in a team. He's always in a team. He, 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 before he's left footer, he should so be then, in a team. So then he comes he's to never done well. He should always... He, he has, has never, never done well. Do you, you, you get where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. If I give you an opportunity and you don't do well, and your 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 argument is that there are other people... Exactly. It comes down to the coach's preference. So after that, you need to respect yourself. Because if I give it... You see, it's different if I gave you the opportunity and you did well and I don't choose you. But if I, I give you the opportunity and you don't do well, and I say, okay, fine. So if I, you give me one that, opportunity and I don't do well, and you give Isaac three opportunities and he doesn't do well... It's due to you discretion. Come? Discretion. About how we work together. It's down to discretion. About how we work together. <laughs> it's about discretion. About how we work better. <laughs> Because if you give me, if you are, if you are in the class, if you are writing the exams, and you have four, five opportunities to write the same exams, and you are not, you are failing. I was giving one opportunity to write, and I fail. You will give me. I think that's a fair point. No, no, I, I think that's a fair point. No, coach actually made no, a very no. brilliant point. In fact, Susu made it, and coach, mm-hmm. he said, when you look at our wingers, Susu said, when you look at our, there are too many similar players. Semenyo, Joseph Pinso, Kamal D. Semenyo is he a winger? Some of plays plays mostly out wide. Yeah, he can play from the left. He can. You see, I'm saying that their their profiles are very similar. Similar. So if a head coach is looking at this sort of play, he's looking. You see, don't take it that Joseph Pinsel is competing with Fatah Isa. No, no, I've not said that. Exactly. So where the people Joseph Pinsel is competing with? Probably Kamal Din and Osman Bokari. Exactly. These are the guys you are competing with. He prefers to actually play on the left. Because he wants to cut onto his yes. right foot and shoot. So now you should be Isaiah asking yourself. Place on the right, he cuts on the left foot over the bar. Dane wana. He will be part from the back. You also be saying that. on the left with Kamal Din, with Somenyo, with Osman Bukari. Yeah. Those are the guys he should be competing with. I think Bukari will probably play on the right. Can cannot play on the right. Let's wrap it up. Daniel, wrap it up so we can talk about Chelsea and what's been going on there. Just wrap it up. It's a perfect squad. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read a few messages coming through. I'll read some tweets as well, and then we'll talk about what's going on uh, at Chelsea Football Club. This one here um, says that I'm listening from live from airports, residential area. Um, uh, okay, you didn't add your message. <laughs> this one from Nijan from Takradi says, Good evening, Ben. I don't understand why half of folk have been made to play Adriana Stars in the opening match of the Ghana Premier League three consecutive seasons. Ah, that is your worry. <laughs> this, one, uh, this one here from... Um, uh, this one here says, Good evening. Um, panorama. This is Gobe. Sika. Gobe Sika in Sidan. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Charlie. Oh, say, his name is Gobe Sika in Sifi. Listening from Dansoma Sahara. <laughs> Ghana. Charlie, so I heard this week that Gobe is like a national institution. Charlie, I was so weak. They say if you are a Gobe seller, you cannot decide to take this off because Gobe is as essential to the people See, as me, ETG I, 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 I and the police. Story. I was in Canada. I met some guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're from Ghana. I came to Ghana for holiday. You know, I ate the plantain and beans. It was so nice. Look, if you're ever feeling some way, I've bought plantain and beans. Come to my house. I'm looking for you. <laughs> God, but truly, is the savior of the nation. He says, um, if Ghana football is able to manage players well in this country, an injury to party shouldn't have been a problem to the team because we could still have Schlop, Duncan, and Kudus in midfield. I agree. Um, Rada from SCC says, in as much as I think Tuku sacking was too early, I can't wait to enjoy portable. Hashtag sports panorama. Oh, no, I'm this you go eh? portable. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there, eh? This one says, it's true. Malizy witnessed everything. World wars, Russia, Ukraine war, pandemics, including COVID-19, 
and disaster, but took them in good faith. Um, she, however, couldn't stand watching CR7 play Europa League. God bless the Queen. Patrick from Adenta. Um, this one here says, um, good evening, my bosses. Doing a great job. Chelsea had some nice signings. It's my prayer they start winning games. My heart always bleeds when we lose. Hmm. Please tell coach, Coach Chris, he's much admired here. I salute him, but he should take it easy on Tuko and Chelsea this evening. Bruce from Teshi Estates. This one says, it's on, it's on. The Panorama crew is on. The most wicked sports crew in GH. Charlie, wicked power. Oh, Charlie, oh, no more. It comes to you guys. Respect to you. Kweku from Abloman. Inside Sapeman. And a neighbor to Kweku Bonsam. Charlie, see your description. Be serious. Abloman. Inside Sapeman. And a neighbor to Kweku Bonsam. Now, we are hard. Charlie, this one here says, um, is there. I, I don't know about these things. This one here says, Ben, Phobia is winning the league back this season. Abata from Koforidia. Um, this one here. Uh, <laughs> more messages. This is good evening, guys. Hope you are all good by the grace of God. It's really sad the Queen is dead, even though she lived to witness many great things. The painful one is that she won't witness Arsenal winning the Champions League. Charlie, she was us, an Arsenal fan. She let was us, an Arsenal let, let fan. Let us think. So... Let us think. She's very sad. <laughs> she must, you must have even sped up her process. Don't <laughs> go there with... Don't, don't go there. Don't do this. <laughs> John, John Messer from Mata Eko says, I always love when Coach is on the show and talks about critical issues. Coach, please bring out everything on TT. The guy language even kills me. This one here. TT! This one's from Mr. Asari from Apollonia. As we are Chelsea and the best tradition goes on. If you are a coach and you don't want your CV to have a bad image, don't venture. How can we spend £250 million on new players for you to be playing this way? The Abramovic tactics still at work. As for Graham Potter, he's on vacation at Chelsea. He will leave after the World Cup. See, how can you have this kind of mindset? This one here from Farouk Headliner says, Yes, I admit I was one of those who wanted TT out due to our boring style of play, but I didn't expect the sack to be this early. Maybe Todd is Roman 2.0. Um, this one says, Boss, this GFA don't have any promotional skill. The only... <laughs> okay, I will go there. Let's get into what's been going on in West London. Because... <laughs> Charlie, respect yourself. <laughs> Charlie, see, I, said I, was, I was minding my... What was it, Tuesday? I was minding my business on Tuesday, right? In fact, I woke up with a hand that day. And like, Daniel... Daniel no, no, it was, Oracle, a it was a Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. Daniel, no, no, Wednesday. No, 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 the Oracle entered me. And I said, you know what? I have an inkling. So I just wanted to tweet. I don't typically tweet at team handles. I said, Chelsea, look, I saw your game against Dinamo Zagreb yesterday. What's up? Sack the guy. Because this <laughs> thing, it is not going. I've seen this movie before. And I've seen Chelsea. They've been laboring since the, since the latter part of last season. They've been limping through games. 1-1, Kakra, 0-0. You see, the writing was on the wall. Under the guise of, oh, we've already Pre-season, secured. Pre-season, then before they were losing to Charlotte yeah. FC. They were losing to all kinds of teams. I said it was pre-season. And so we said we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. We will build a team nobody wants to play against. Oh, no more. <laughs> has turned into stone and sand in the mouth of Toto Alote. Oh, no more. So what happened was that Todd Bowley decided that I have seen enough of this. There have been a lot of conspiracies regarding why he was sacked. Some say that Toto Alote rejected Cristiano Ronaldo when everything had been agreed and all he needed to do was to give his consent. Some say that the owners... In fact, it is quoted in one of the, 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 the reports on him that he preferred to spend time with his players and his coaching staff than to plot strategy with the owners. And to be fair to him, strategy with the owners is a sporting director's job, to be very honest. It is not a coach. In fact, there are some teams where the coaches never even see the owner of the team. Like, you don't even have any business with the owner of the team. That's to be honest. So, I mean, all kinds of conspiracy. Are, but coach... We said Toto Alote was a professor in coaching. Lampard was not fit even to be his apprentice. Less than two years, Toto Alote has not won a league title. His big signings, one has been sold already to RB. He's gone back to the club he came from. The other one, who is Carves. <laughs> Carves cannot score, he cannot assist. Somebody says that it's not too late for him to go and complete his master's in Germany because it's clear the football is not working. Coach. They, don't, they don't pay tuition in Germany. <laughs> so you should go ahead. Coach, first of all, first of all, I mean, before, it, it, I, I, I know you have a lot to say, but you have to get the tactical breakdown for me on why you think this Thomas Tuchel reign that looks so promising has collapsed. Look, 
several factors tactically and also your western diamonds number of is course there. i'll come the there number is there no more very much like a normal is already <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> Like you can go, be more me no man or get one in flow. Look, to be honest with you, eh, Benjamin, like you said, tactically there had there were problems. Who bought Chewell? Was it not him? I think he did. Yeah. Mm. Problem number one: you had Chewell, you went for Google Korea. In that same position, a total of over 110 million pounds. Problem number one. Mm-hmm. Problem number two. Not trying to get the best out of Romali Lukaku. Constantly, persistently, telling the whole world that Lukaku had to adjust. Hey, if I'm the manager, if I'm the owner, and you encourage me to spend close to 100 million pounds. Huh. You turn around and tell me that you made me pay that money when you didn't know how to When you didn't it. know how to use the player. Ah, are you serious? I mean, Toto couldn't have been serious. He no, he, look. Look, but for the Ukraine-Russia problem, Ibra- uh, Abramovich himself would have fired him long ago. I'm telling you. I, I believe that too. I honestly believe that. Too. He would have fired him long, long, long ago. You mean That's long crazy. before Todd Bowley did? Did. Oh. And again, the style of play, it becomes so predictable. But shockingly, this is a, a, a manager when he was at PhD. He failed to win the title, right? He was not. He, no, he, he, won, he, won, he won both times. He won. He won, he won the French yeah. League yeah. both. Yeah. He was the Champions League. Yeah, he would be where he took them to, to the final. To a Champions League yes. Final. Yes. final. But that back three was that what he used to do at PSG? Nope. So I don't understand why he became so obsessed. No, because when he came, Chelsea's problem was defensive. Okay, so he that used that to solve the problem. Yes. Yeah. Now, after solving and the they problem... Became, they became the team nobody wanted to play against, at least in the first 20 games. It became a template. He never saw the need to, ch- to change tactics based on the opponent. Hmm. He believed that whoever we play, back three, we have to play like that. So, definitely, you'll be figured out. So Lampard brought Chilwell, actually. Yes. That's the correct. Lampard brought Chilwell. Lampard brought Chilwell. But Chilwell, although Lampard brought Chilwell, he was used... Toto was using Chewa till Chewa got injured. Even just last week, Chewa came to their rescue. And the most important thing again, you see, his inability to recognize the fact that Igolo Kante needed some form of replacement. Yeah. Or some, some form of what? Uh, support. support. Because he, he could clearly see that any time the man wasn't fit, the whole machine just went dead. The whole Chelsea machine just went dead. I have dead. a theory that Chelsea have always been this bad for a minute, yes. but his good performances always papered over their problems. Yes. Whenever he was out of the team, the their problems were glaring. Completely aggravated. And then, the most important thing again, that when again Abramovich left, Everything he's asked for as a manager, he's been given. Everything he's asked for. They say, yes, Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't want zero. Who do you want? I want... No, no, no. Good. Uh, 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 according to the same. Uh, Obama. Obama, Obama Young. Young. You've brought up Obama Young. No, the first is, 50... Uh, actually, it's not everything he's asked for that he's been given. Oh, what did he request there've, for? There have been a lot of fights during the summer transfer. No, but he sanctioned the uh, Fofana deal. I call it Fofana buy. was his like, fourth choice. So. Yes. No, no. 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 Hey, if your fourth choice is... It's, it's, it's 75 million. million. No, no, no. We saw million. there was a list. He said his first choice was Delete. Mm-hmm. And I think his second choice was Kimpembe. No, but... He also they, asked for Rafi. None of you guys are better than Fofana. So what is I'm, his problem? Just, but we are saying who is asked you know, for. Wanted his first choice for a right-sided centre-back was Fofana. Mm-hmm. Chelsea was going for Kunde against his advice mm-hmm. when the thing did the hour then Chelsea turned their back and bought him to uh-huh. so he got he for got Fana. He, wanted. he wanted for Fana delete there he said ah, if Bayern Munich is looking for me we need to get Chelsea have he actually buy her think papa 
Mm-hmm. There are times, yes, it will Somebody backfire. Somebody needs to learn, but he will learn. He will learn. Take us any. He will learn. Who doesn't want to learn? Oh, Jekyll Clock. The person Jekyll knows himself. He knows himself. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 he's next on the list. Right now, he's doing sober reflection. Abba Fayale. Club. He learned Chabaya. He will lead the campaign. He will lead Very soon. Then, you said that you want the people to bring you Obama Young. They gave you Obama Young transfer deadline day. Mm-hmm. But when you look at the way he's been treating the place, the players were even afraid to play on their... Look, in coaching, eh, when you have your players playing in your half, when I say in your half, where you are, that is where you enjoy coaching them the most. But the Chelsea players were all afraid. Mm. They said, when well, he screams at you, you don't coach like that. But isn't that what won them the Champions League? No, Club but World Cup, it, all of those. At players. least the, if by now the message has not been uh, decoded by don't these boys, it. then for, forget it, man. Forget it. <laughs> forget it. <laughs> forget it. <laughs> forget it. The, is, I remember when he said that I will build an empire. That no a team. Bill a team. <laughs> oh. are trying to do some more I mean, <laughs> He's been the team. Like a kingdom. He can build a kingdom. There are no other kingdom who like to. Me tani like a jelly Kingdom. No jelly The world is quick, round. Quick, quick, quick. Get me ba. In a case, jelly me a cuckoo. No more time no more. You want to sing along? His next job, he should relax with statements he should relax like that. With statements like that. Don't be saying things like At all. To build a team no one wants to play against. Then look, this is just by the way. In fact, I got this information. Brazil. I can't Brazil. No more. No more Brazil. No more. 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 Message in the dressing room. Boys are not listening. Boys are not listening. The girl will just come. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> Don't do Definitely. this. Nathan, let me, let me have your thoughts on... Uh, first of all, thoughts on the decision to fire Tuko. First of all, did you see it coming? Do you think it was inevitable? Do you think they should have waited? And also thoughts on the choice of Graham Potter. I, first of all, I was very surprised extremely surprised that the, the decision was taken to fire 
Thomas Tuchel because I yes Chelsea were having issues at the start of the season I thought it was one of those things it would come together they'll go on a run things will settle but I did not see it coming at all and then we started to hear the stories of Tuchel clashing with Todd Bowley and Todd Bowley wanting one thing Tuchel wanting the other thing and then players who you know um so who was that? The players who he wanted to so, send out of the so team. He did yeah. a, he did two separate yeah. preseason meetings. So it's like he spoke to some of the players, like the new signings and some of the players that look you are committed, understand you want to fight for your place at this club and play for this club. He had a meeting with them. They had a meeting with the players who were unhappy, wanted to event, whatever. So it was very clear who was staying and who was leaving. Then the first game of the season starts. Mm-hmm. Some of the players who are supposedly leaving and they're starting living in their squad. And some of the players who are staying are not in the starting eleven and squad. And they're like, ah. They're and like, so ah. As a, as a mini player revolt, especially yeah. after what you had told us. Hey, basically, we've had, we've, we've set we, the we line. we the, the, the air on this one. Yeah, matter. we know who's who and you've basically gone against that to do the start. So there was a problem with and that. And there are senior men in that dressing room, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thiago Silva is in that dressing room. He, he won't talk a lot, but he has a lot of influence. Yeah. Nathan, so, make a point. So I, I was quite surprised that this had started to come up and I was even more surprised when Todd Bowley pulled the plug. But on reflection, it just it just tells me that Bowley had come to a decision long ago and he was waiting for the right time to implement that decision. And he went on to, to get rid of Thomas Tuchel. Some reports say he was quite shocked at the decision. I'm sure he will be because nobody saw it coming. And then they decided to bring in Graham Potter. I mean, very, very interesting decision. Potter has already shown a lot of Potential. He's shown that, you know, he has what it takes to coach in this league. Um, but you, you sometimes you wonder, you know, what should he have stayed? When is he going to get the shot? Remember, he was this is a big break. I he mean, was he worked for days for like the this. job and Spurs passed up on him. Mm-hmm. Eventually, settled on Antonio Conte. So yeah. yes, he will fancy himself. Yes, he will say that this is a huge jump. This is not Brighton and Hove Albion, but he will take that opportunity. He will give himself the chance to play at the highest level where the demands are more. He plays more games. There's more pressure. But that's why you want to manage at this level. That's why you are in the Premier League. That's why you show a lot of potential to prove that you are capable. So, um, we wait to see what he will do. We wait to see what kind of um, 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 acumen he will show tactically to handle this squad. Because this squad will need a new direction. He will have to figure out this team. Chelsea need a lot of regeneration, especially in midfield. And I hope that Graham Potter will quickly try to figure things out and then get the players to be on side. Because the biggest challenge you have is these players who have played at the highest level, they are super players, they are superstars, big egos, and they're having to work with a manager like Graham Potter, who they will look at and say, this guy's CV doesn't speak. Yeah, that kind of thing. So I hope... They're he, very big names in that dressing very room. Big names. So I hope mm. Graham Potter knows and understands that and he will need a lot of support from the owners initially yeah. for him to settle and then after his... I was asking earlier on the previous show, is there a honeymoon period... My guest said no. It looks like the work starts from day one. Honeymoon period at Chelsea. And he has to, he has to go on. Has Daniel, to go on let, let, me, let me hear you on the whole to go out, Potter in. What, what have you made of all of it? I'm surprised. Um, and when read, that ta- Tommy was sacked? Yeah, I'm surprised. Wow. I'm very surprised he was sacked. Um, when you read the backstory, you can tell that this is something they were thinking about yep. um, from some time yep. now. Yep. So I'm asking Seems myself, like that to me. why didn't you do it during preseason? Why didn't you let him go? Because what they've done, you see, they've made some, and I, I was call them season-altering decisions um, in the transfer window, um, like bringing in Obama Young for a year. You know why Obama Young left Arsenal? Yep. It was because of his attitude. Obama Young knew he was coming to Chelsea because of Thomas, Thomas Tuchel. Yeah, man. Now he's come, and after 59 minutes, Thomas he's Tuchel gone. has been sacked. <laughs> now he needs to spend the rest of the Sorry. season with um, Graham Deciding Potter. Deciding if the coach likes him or not. Exactly, with Graham Sorry. Potter. Um, they let Lukaku go back on loan to Inter Milan. And if you read the backstory, there are sources close to Lukaku saying that he would have stayed if he knew that they were going to get rid of Tuchel as, as, as quickly as this. So these are some things that you think about and you ask whether um, Todd Bowley and Co. made the right decision. And you also look at from the Bowley side also. Um, Tuko wasn't happy about Chelsea letting Marina Gr- uh, Granovskaya oh, end. Yeah. And Peter Cech in the club. And you see, we, we, Tuko may be a difficult person, but he has some, so he, he, he has every right to be angry with some of the things that happen. When you read the backstory, you talk about the Chelsea owner. It's not, it's not just 
uh, Boli. They are a group of owners. Yep. So and he's literally the front. Yeah. Yeah. So Boli has a meeting with Tukul in the morning about player transfers. Tukul goes back into his training session. Then he's told another owner wants to have a meeting with him about player transfers. Then he has to go in and out and in and out. And he's telling them the same thing. And nobody seems to be on the same page. So when he looks at this, he's look. but why did you guys get rid of the guys who were... Supposed, managing the activities yeah, exactly. of these things. And, and now why are you stressing me, me out? Instead of me focusing on my team. You are stressing me out with things that other people should be doing. And you see, there's actually... A, Chelsea have, uh, according to Athletic, Chelsea have denied that. But um, Tuchel apparently went into a meeting with... Um, uh, I think the man's name is like Bali and uh, uh, Todd Bowley. And they <laughs> Bali were, and Bowley. And they were, <laughs> they were structuring um, what they would like Chelsea to look like. And they had put out a 4-4-3 formation. And... Tuku just looked at it. Yeah, four, listen, four, three. Listen, four, three, three. Listen carefully. Four, 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 four three. three. No, no, no. They, four, four, three. I mean, I'm only one plus one. I'm telling you. So <laughs> clearly, he looks at this and he's like, these guys don't know what they're about. So you can understand why he was a bit frustrated. But look, um, Graham Potter is a very good manager. But Graham Potter taking over this Chelsea team in this state um, when the season has already started can be difficult. Um, I think look, a very tricky job. You need to align yourself mentally if you are coming to take care of this job. When you are at Brighton and you are at Swansea and you are at these other teams, you have total control. But when you are managing big players with big and egos, he's also a head coach. He's not a manager. He's a head coach. There's exactly. a slight so difference. You see, control. It's, it's, it's extremely difficult managing. And I always tell this. I always say this thing. Same thing I said when Javi, when Ole, when Lampard, Arteta, all these guys were taking the job for the first time. Being tactically doesn't brilliant doesn't guarantee you success. Yep. Management is not just tactics. It's hmm. not just four four two. It's not just four two three one. You are managing a group of people, player relations. All these things sum up to being a very good manager. So Graham Potter is really going to be tested. Um, the good thing is that the Chelsea players, most of them were very unhappy with Tuchel. So it should be a, a, a breath of fresh air with Graham Potter coming in. But when they look at you one two three weeks and you don't seem like you can make them competitive enough. They'll start, to they'll start whispering among themselves. And you know the, the, the funny thing is, mm. it's, they are saying that when they were buying Kukarela, you know, he basically used Kukarela to see Todboli's suitability. Yeah, so he yeah, was yeah. asking Kukarela certain questions about, sorry, about Graham Potter in the course of the transfer to get an idea of who the man was. Mm. So I was saying this on the preview show that I believe that he, wo- he wanted to make sure that Potter was in position yeah. before he started to go. So that's what they were waiting for. I don't think it was... Mm. I feel like win or lose, this is a, after this Zagreb game, he was gone. They've got yeah. him their man. Yeah. Well, well, that's 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 the end of the show. But just quick one before we go. Coach, our people have delivered. Oh, no. Oh, Charlie. Oh, oh no. no. For those who didn't know. Oh, Charlie. Simprika Food Products. Simprika? Yeah, Simprika Food, food. Product. Yeah, yeah, Charlie. They no say more. every Friday, you know, they, they do some pork buffet. No more. Pork buffet. Pork buffet. It's only a hundred series. No you more. know, ribs, you know, ribs, you know, R- ribs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come and chop ribs, you know. Just Adenta Snit Flats behind court one. No more. Oh, I know they, I know Adenta Snit Flats. Oh, I know they. Behind they. court and one. And the pork is good, bro. No Simprika food, you know, product. No more. Oh, I want to say, oh, pillow. You know, and this evening they have done us good. Ah, no more. Oh, Charlie. It's a con, it's a con. Oh, no, con. Oh, Charlie. Now, con, need dog. Oh, Charlie. Sniffle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
want to give a shout out to Michael in Ketia. No relation, of course. He's you know. <laughs> a big man, he's a big man. Uh, he's an Uber driver, you know. My my cousin's in your case, so take care of I have good news. The good news. Wesley Girls. Oh, Charlie. Senior High School. Oh, hey. Charlie. 2012. Hey. Charlie. Hey. Group. Hey. Charlie. They are having family day out. Oh, hey, Charlie. Charlie. Oh, I invited. Oh, Charlie. Hey. Oh, Charlie. I mean what? Wesley Girls. Uh-huh. 2012. Uh-huh. That's my wife's year. Yes. Oh, oh Charlie. Oh, and all oh, I invited. Hey. That's where later went to block his. <laughs> <laughs> So, but yeah, then isn't, isn't all that where your apple is? All of us, isn't yeah. that where your apple that is? That is good. I have apples, <laughs> apples, okay. That is good. Apples, okay. oranges, bananas. I, I saw two so of you them. You play yesterday. for Norwich, you play for Crystal Palace, you play for Man City, all that. I'm like Jermaine Defoe. <laughs> 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 we are striking for all the let me say a happy birthday to my own dad. Oh.